We talk about Star Wars movies, don't we, Nathan? Some, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we do. I, I remember a few weeks ago, I think I was like ranting about how I hate the new movies. Yes. So, yeah, we do. So, yeah. um, with the commercial, I wouldn't say failure, but underperformance of Solo, yeah. um, a lot of people thought, well, maybe, uh, maybe, I almost said Nintendo, maybe Disney is going to maybe step back from these spinoffs and maybe put them on hold for a little while. But that doesn't seem to be the case. There's actually a rumor um, that they are going to, that they're moving forward with an Obi-Wan Kenobi movie rumored to begin production in 2019. And this is definitely not good news. Uh, Ewan McGregor, who played Obi-Wan during episodes one through three, won't play the lead role. So wait, they are making the movie. That's what the rumor He's is. He's not a part of it. Right. That's so dumb. And he has oh, actually no. stated that um, he, when asked about it uh, from IGN, he said, yes, I would totally do it. There's no plans as such to do it as far as I know. I would be happy to do it. I think there must be a good story to tell as they are doing spinoffs. Like I love Ewan McGregor as, as Obi Wan. Yeah, he's like my favorite character from he, the prequels. Yes, he is my favorite character yes. from the prequels. Mine too. He's the best part about them. Absolutely. Like, <laughs> okay, like I'm the one who's been bashing Star Wars so much. That sounds like a good idea, dude. Like right after Revenge of the Sith ends, or like closely after that, about his story, like how he becomes old man Ben, yeah, or whatever. Like you know, you could pick it up. You could start anywhere, anywhere, and it could cool. be kind of interesting. Like right after the fall of you know the Republic and like yeah. the, the rise of the Empire, what he's doing during that, or just have him doing something on Tatooine, whether it has to do with Jabba mm-hmm. the Hutt, right, or the Sand People, or the Jawas. Like there's there's so many. Yeah. I feel like Tatooine has so many stories to tell on that one little desert planet. Yeah, you know that'd be so cool. I, I'm I'm wondering now, like, are they not getting him because it's going to be like Obi Wan before? In which case, I'm fine. Uh, that just sounds if, significantly if they did that less route, but, interesting. Because then you're going to have to have a fake Qui Gon, right? Oh yeah, I had. How can you have young Obi Wan without Qui Gon? Because weren't they together for like? Wasn't he like his Padawan for a long time? Yes. So, yeah. Uh, and, uh, no one else can play Qui Gon other than Liam Neeson, and you can't have an the old Liam fart Neeson's. Liam Neeson play really young Liam Neeson. That would be weird, really weird, right? So it sounds kind of messy. Yeah, it's just if they weren't going to go that route. But I feel like, but the thing is, is like, I feel like, how long? So uh, Revenge of the Sith came out 2005. So it's been about Mm -hmm. 13 years. Why not make one that's like 13 years after Revenge of the Sith? Like Ewan McGregor is like the perfect age. Okay, wait. And so Ewan McGregor and the guy who played Old Man Ben, weren't they related? Or did I imagine that? No, Ewan McGregor is re- his uncle is uh, Wedge, the, the guy who played Wedge Antilles. Okay, for some reason I thought that they were like related, but seriously, they 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 do look like really similar. It's kind of weird. I don't know. I I've always thought that like yeah. old man Ben in but, the but he does he does have a relative from from okay, the original yeah. trilogy. If, if they get like some some rando to play rando rando Calrissian to play. Um, <laughs> To play Obi Wan after Revenge of the Sith, that would make no sense. Yeah, it wouldn't because he's not he's a little bit older. It's after if it's it, that would be so dumb. It wouldn't feel like the same character. Yeah. And he's like I said, he's the reason that that character is so cool. Like I don't know, he's just right. really, he was just really cool. And as cool as like Alec Guinness was playing older Obi Wan, like this is to me still the definitive version of Obi Wan. He had so many cool lines. Hello there. <laughs> Hello there. Yeah. <laughs> He just, yeah, he was just so fleshed out in the in the prequels. It was, yeah. It's just like, yeah, he's the best part of him. Why would you not make a follow up spinoff? For like him? that would win me over. I would, I would see that movie in theaters. No joke. Yeah. And like, I hate, I hate like the concept the current... of them bringing back like all this stuff and like cash grabbing and stuff. But I would be there. I would be like, yes. Yeah. You, you know why you would be there? Because you know that they can't kill him off in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Like in the yeah, oh. it's like wait, he doesn't die here. Nope, we're retconning the whole thing. Right. <laughs> so yeah, Disney. If you are planning on making this movie, if the rumors are true, you need to go ahead and just 
reach out to Ewan Call McGregor's him. attorney and he be wants like, to do this movie. Hey, you're willing to do it? Yeah. We if got done, you. If you're done goofing around with Pooh, we got your be in Star Wars. <laughs> That, that came out wrong. <laughs> like Winnie the Pooh, guys. Winnie the Pooh. But yeah, we got your we got your robe and your yeah. lightsaber all ready here for you, sir. Yeah. If that's how Disney talks yeah. collectively, sure. 